Hello. In this video, I'd like to show you the method I used to propagate a Drosera scorpioides by Gemme, which are asexual buds that form in a rosette at the top of the plant. Um, these are actually modified leaves uh, that are a perfect clone of the parent sundew plant. Uh, so these can be grown or sown like seed uh, to create a completely new plant. So as you can see here, um, you can dislodge the gemma from the top of the plant just by sort of poking at them with a, a moist toothpick or your finger. Um, and the droplet of water on top is helping to sort of uh, keep track of our gemma because these are so tiny. Um, it's handy that it, it sticks around in just the surface tension of the droplet of water. So now that it's broken free, I'm going to pick it up on the end of uh, this toothpick. You can also use your finger, uh, which might be a little bit easier uh, to grab onto. So here's the Gemma separated. Our next step is to prepare our potting media for uh, starting these guys out. Right here I have a mix of half sand, half peat moss. Um, with a top layer maybe a centimeter thick of long fiber sphagnum moss. And the long fiber is going to keep these guys consistently moist. Um, I'll also keep this uh, planter in a humidity tent, just a Ziploc bag. So you don't want to bury these. Um, they will need exposure to light. Um, it is important that they stay moist though, so as you can see just sort of firming the media up a little bit around these guys without, you know, really locking them into the soil. So our last step now is just to add some water. Um, we'll put on a humidity tent and then within two to three weeks we should actually start to see some true leaves on these plants and, and they'll be able to catch their first uh, carnivorous meal. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for uh, pygmy sundew updates as well as updates on nepenthes and other carnivorous plants.